Hey guys, it's Lil. Hope everyone is doing well and practicing their social distancing and not losing their minds and doing something crazy and weird to their hair that they've never done before. But if you did want to see something like that, you're in the right place. So I've been dyeing my hair black for about a year now. And before that I was coloring it dark brown. So it's been really dark for a while now. I've been just about every natural hair color under the sun and I'm starting to get really annoyed with the obvious amount of upkeep that having color treated hair requires and I really want to get back to my natural color which if you can believe it is a dark ash blonde. I do have a bit of regrowth going on up here so when you dye your hair black and you have light hair it looks like you have kind of a giant bald spot running down your roots so I'm not really a fan of that and it's a little difficult right now to go out and make a hair appointment thanks to a certain pandemic. So when I make up my mind about something, I really just wanna get it done. So I was looking for home remedies, things I could do to fade my hair color. And I came across a video on YouTube made by Liz Ryan, who was actually able to fade her black box dyed hair quite a bit using baking soda and a developer. So I have baking soda. And as it turns out, I actually have some leftover developer. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is just a terrible idea and I'm gonna come out with orange hair, but you know, I've got nothing else to do, nowhere to be, so why not? I've got my baking soda. I guess I'm just gonna do it in like a one for one. I've got my little hair dyeing materials here. Is this gonna ruin my scalp? I got my 20 volume developer. That's what I've been using to dye my hair. So hopefully it's good enough. I don't know anything about developer. I just know that you need it. So why did I smell that? I probably should have used gloves. Watching my bottle and then. Why? would you think that I would do it in an intelligent way? Because you're smart. Oh, well. Well, dump out that baking soda. Okay, just do it. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of developer. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I guess I'm using all of it. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> Help. I'm gonna mix it up. It up. This is a lot. Gonna mix it up. I've mixed a bit in here. It's a very paste like consistency. Hopefully, that's good enough. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this all in front of the camera. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. What if this works? My sectioning's not going very well. Bloop. <laughs> I'm gonna end up with like tortoise shell hair. Will not be cute. So kind of the only saving grace here, I guess there are two. One is I have absolutely nowhere to go for the foreseeable future. I'm not working right now. Thank you, COVID-19. I'm also not really leaving the house. Thank you, COVID-19. So this turns out like horribly, which would also kind of mean that it worked then I don't really need to see anyone. And I can just kind of chill with my horrendous Pennywise the Clown hair. I think kind of the plan is after I do this and if it does work, I'll try to find like some kind of high lift hair color. I hope I have enough. I don't have thick hair, but I have a lot of hair. And it usually works against me because why would my own hair be on my side? Just kind of slapping it on the head. I think it might be time to just plop and pray. We're giving up. My hair's gonna be 
so dry after this. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't feel super pleasant, but it's also not like turning my scalp red, so I still have a little bit of hope. I'm very glad I got gloves. It's very hard to tell where my hair is saturated and where it's not because I have very short hair and very dark hair, so I can't exactly see immediately where the dry spots are. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Oh, this is a good look. Right, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna order some color oops because it will be a major oops. Because I just don't want to go right to bleach because I've never done bleach before and I don't want to turn my head into ramen noodles. All right, it is pretty much, oh God, it kind of stinks, doesn't feel good but it's not like a special nice hair treatment. It's baking soda. So I got my head pretty much as saturated as I could, I think. All that's left to do now is wait, and I have no idea how long to wait. Half an hour? Is that good enough? I don't know. I'm gonna give it about 25 minutes, and then hopefully there will be something we will check back and we'll see if this was just a total waste of time or if it actually works. Not gonna lie, I smell really clean. So I remembered about halfway through that I was probably supposed to put my hair up in a cap. So I guess the heat could help it develop. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I have a cute little cap on, right? It's been about half an hour, so let's just and I see nothing, so I'm gonna put it back. Maybe 10 more minutes. So I'm about to take this off my head and go shower. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Um, so it kind of worked. All right, so it's the day after. You probably saw my reaction. So something did happen. I'm not sure that it was a good thing that happened. Um, you can see I have got some hot roots. Um, you can't really tell on camera. This color has actually faded quite a bit. It's still very clearly black hair but it's lost a lot of that deepness. It is pretty faded. All in all, this kind of worked, especially on my natural hair. So if you have like dark blonde hair and you wanna get it really light, I guess this works if you don't wanna bleach. Obviously not the incredible results that I wanted. It's hard when you dye your hair black to fade it, which is what people told me. And I was kind of thinking, yeah, okay, but I'm gonna have black hair for a while should have listened. But anyway, um, I don't know if this is going to be the end of this video because I might just try to do like baking soda and hot water again. Because to be completely honest, my hair feels super light right now. Like I feel like I got a lot of gunk out of it by doing that because obviously baking soda helped to clean it out quite a bit. Um, and when I was washing it out, quite a bit of blue did come out. I shampooed twice and then used a conditioner because my hair felt like straw. It felt awful, but it feels a lot nicer. Not amazing, but my hair wasn't in amazing condition anyway. This might be the end of this video, or I might be back after trying this again. I don't have any more developer, so if I do try it again, I'm just gonna have to use hot water. So I guess I will see you next time. Bye! So, because I am a glutton for punishment, 
and because I didn't learn my lesson the first time, we are back. Um, I looked up some more baking soda tutorials because I'm still not wanting to spend money on this. And it turns out you can also mix baking soda with hydrogen peroxide to bleach your hair. So that's what we're doing tonight. It's literally the day after. Um, I am going to have my husband help me apply since clearly I didn't do a great job the first time can't get much worse, right? We're just gonna try it on my entire head and I'm gonna leave it on for like an hour and I'll put it up in my shower cap so that it has heat to help incubate, bake, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Anyway. done. We've coated my head. I'm going to put it up in my little friend here for about an hour. Okay, I am officially throwing in the towel. I would not say that this worked, especially. Right now my hair is just very dry. I mean some parts of it are more faded than others, but I'm just gonna bite the bullet and go buy some color oops and then that'll be a different video that'll be a fun look but um thank you for watching hopefully you learned something <laughs> through my experience and if you've been dyeing your hair black for as long as i have then maybe this is not the fix for you if you just dyed your hair like a couple days ago it might make a difference for you so who knows but for me it ultimately just didn't work that great all right so Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.